Murphy's Law. What can go wrong will go wrong. And so you just do your best to try to plan and mitigate around that. We didn't have a plan. And then it went to sh Who would have thought? Kidding. I'm not good at being serious for this long, sorry. I am Tim Marat. I am an engineering project manager. I act as a facilitator to try to remove roadblocks for whatever the design team has ahead. My name is Matt Story. I'm the VP of Product and Strategy at Republic Manufacturing. Tim likes a good joke, but you wouldn't necessarily know that about Tim until you begin to work with him. <laughs> Give him one of these. So tell me if I need to swing some jokes in because I don't know what those are. All I have is data doot doot. My name is Jing. I'm a mechanical engineer. I am the primary designer in the Central Systems project. The product strategy for Central Systems is really about modularity and customization for the customer's given application, but expediency and efficiency on the manufacturing side. So what may seem like a thousand variations is actually a Russian nesting doll of assemblies and sub-assemblies that we can efficiently get out. The benefit of that is that we have consistency out across the board. We make everything in-house and we're an ISO certified company, so we have complete control over the design. If there's any quick modifications or any flaws we see, we're able to address that immediately and make sure all of those changes happen up front. But you don't have to wait 24 weeks for an engineered solution. We have a pre-configured baseline that allows us to get it out in half that time or a third of that time. And since we manufacture ourselves, we control the lead time. With this, we have a better idea on how many parts and when we need to order to make sure we always have a consistent production line going through. We're a smaller company, so having to balance resources, we may need to get creative while also providing a level of satisfaction and performance that our customers expect from maybe a much, much larger company without sacrificing any sort of product quality. So there's not really a piece of this that we don't have our hands completely around. So first thing we did was create a small, medium, and large, so break them out into categories. We limited ourselves to the 60, 120, 200, and 240 gallon tanks. We selected the smallest tank footprint available, so this means we have smaller size central systems which give our customers more flexibility in where they need to install them. We came up with a slack rail system that mounts to a base table that mounts to the pump. So no matter how the pump is situated or how the table is situated, the railing system will always handle whatever mounting setup they give us. We've made most of our parts to be symmetrical, so it's very hard to make something that's facing the wrong way. And then we had the same shelf applied to each tank size. This is the case for all of our tank orientations, so you really have to think about the placement of your piping. What we're using now is actually pharmaceutical grade plastic hose, but you can tie it in a knot if you need to, so it's extremely flexible. It's clean and takes a lot less time to install. We designed for accessibility in mind, so there's a lot of access points for forklifts, cranes, and attachments and detachment points. We even added shut up valves in case we need to service one pump and can leave the other one running. There's redundancy built into it, so if something fails, there's something there as a backup to take over. But no, it can definitely fail. <laughs> <laughs> We're not perfect. It's just we planned around it. It feels very customized, like it will be specific to their application because in many ways it is specific to that application. Whenever there's like a new design that has a lot of constraints and unknown factors and finding out the optimal solution, that's what I like designing the most. It's about making sure that you get the product vision set right from the beginning. And that's how I plan any strategy of any design project that I'm going to do because if you can handle that, then to me, that's at least half of it right there. It's one of those situations where be careful what you're, you're good at because then you end up doing it. And I'm very competitive. I don't want to be good at something. I want to be great at something. <laughs> I was about to say the exact same thing I was going to. I can do a lot better with a beer in my hand. We do that's a lot it. better. Maybe not say that. I don't know. Well, it's true. <laughs> oh my gosh. 